Hey everybody, thank you for joining Fallgate Team Channel to watch the video. Uh, today I'm doing Tower Defense Simulator and I'm trying to pick what map I want to do. I like doing solo when I'm just experimenting, um, but here lately I've had people join me. Uh, this is Fallgate Top Dad. Um, the build out I plan on using is Farms, Accelerator, Warden, Cowboy, and Helicopters again. So let's see, let's go with the Lighting path. I'm pretty sure I beat this yesterday. Let's see if anybody joins. And they jump in last minute. That's fine. No big deal. Alright, so if you played Tower of Defense, you know not every build out or towers you have works for every map. This is just my particular, one of my favorite ones to work with. Um, I really like the Warden as they get to higher levels. Let's go Fallen mode. Actually, let's do Molten. I'm pretty sure I did beat this one earlier today. I didn't record it. We got Gamer Girl PYP is going to be helping with us today. So not only is it a strategy on your behalf, um, but you got to understand how your teammate's going to play. Like if all she plans on doing is farming, starting out, then I need to put stuff out to try to help um, stave off an early elimination. It's okay to allow some things to get through. That's not a big deal. Um, it's a bigger deal to sit there and sacrifice so one's getting by. So if I throw one back here real quick, if I had it, um, that kind of takes me out of what I plan on doing. So it's it's really not worth it in my opinion, especially in the earlier rounds. Because this is, you know, you got third, anywhere from, what, 32 to 40 waves depending on the map. You got time. Um, sometimes it's a little bit more crucial. I just don't find it that way that right now. Alright, what's they got? They have the freezer, which that's very poor placement. If you look at where it's placed at, it literally has one spot that it can hit, and that's that's poor. That's okay. We can make it. We'll figure it out. Not a big deal what we got here. Four and four, so eight's going to be gone. Not a big deal. Mm, excuse me. All right, two freezers. Okay. Not a big deal. We don't need to worry about it yet. She might be freaking out, but I'm definitely not. Let's go ahead and get that upgraded. So four, eight, twelve. Twelve more points are going to get knocked off. Not a big deal. Not yet, anyways. Need to start getting something. I'll probably, my next thing I put back, I'm going to put back here. Um, just to hit these guys. So we're probably going to go ahead and skip here, and I don't know that I'll have the money to do anything yet. I do. Six over. Yes, here we go. It'll help. It's not going to eliminate them, but it'll help. And then I'm going to line this area with wardens. Um, I really like wardens, especially when you get them into that second and third tier. But I'm going to line this whole area with wardens when I get a chance. But I need to make sure my side is established enough for my wardens have a chance when I do put them in there. So we're doing pretty good. Pretty good. See, she panicked and put stuff in the back. And that's fine. That's, if that's what she wants to do. That's fine. It's not a big deal. But you can tell she panicked. Alright, so let's go ahead and throw down another... There we go, another farm. So the idea is, is once we get, I got things leveled enough, I want to save some spots around over in this area and on the opposite side for uh, helicopters. That's what I want to do. Right, so before I upgrade that, let me go ahead and slap this guy over here, another warden. Get him ready and I can put out another, there we go, another fine arm. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and upgrade one of these, and then I'm going to place another one down.
We're doing all right. Not great, but we're doing all right. Next thing would be to upgrade this one. Be the next thing to do over there. They're at four eight. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna skip because that way I can trade that one. That one is on. And then again, I really like my warden, so I'm really wanting to line this whole area up and down with wardens. That's gonna come in handy because this guy's 160. Um, the normal boss, 108. We're having below 100 time he gets to my wardens. My wardens will not do 100 worth of damage to him. So I'm going to go ahead and skip. Get another warden down here so I have four attacking. Upgrade. Upgrade. And now you're going to see the difference. Okay, he gets there. He's 90. And she's got some snipers. But they're going to get through here. Watch this. That's how quick it happens when you have those wardens. And they're at, those are just at level 1. So it'll happen quick. The speed ones, the wardens don't do so well against those. But everything else that's coming this way, the wardens, if the snipers don't take care of them first, we'll take care of it. They'll be fine. So we're gonna do this. Uh, let's see. We're gonna upgrade one of these, and then I'm gonna hold on, and I'm gonna get another cowboy out. And I want it to go right here. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to put it right about right here. The cowboy here when I have an opportunity. And that's just to help don't them down a little bit before they get to my wardens. Seventy, and that one's at one twenty-six. I'm not going to skip this one on her because she already panics quite a bit. And that's not that big deal because she doesn't know really know my strategy or how I'm going to play it. But these wardens are going to do plenty of damage. Plenty. <laughs> Plenty of damage. I've got seven farms down right now. There we go. <laughs> Upgrade that. Upgrade that. Then we're going to go over here and place the other cowboy that I wanted. Now these are hidden. The cowboys are not able to see hidden right now. Normally I'd be a little bit worried about it, but I'm not because these wardens can see hidden. And they should be able to pluck them off pretty quick. Yeah, with ease, with ease. Get this upgraded. Alright, and we are getting to the point where we can upgrade and still be able to place things down. So I want that one at 300. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and get this one up. That just provides more money. That's one thing I like about cowboys. They provide more money. And let's get our last farm out. Oh, I already have eight farms out. Okay. So let's upgrade this one. And we should be okay. That's down to 52 before even getting there. Yeah, these are no problem whatsoever. Alright. So obviously the big gun that we're saving up for is the accelerator, which I want to place down in this area right here. I want to put all, all eight of them if I can get eight out right in this area right here. And then line the helicopters on this other side. That's what I want it uh, doesn't always work that way, but we'll see. Let's take this opportunity to just get a few more wardens down. Great in one. Alright, we should be able to upgrade it before the match is over. There we go. Let's go ahead and skip. I'm fine with skipping. Alright, we're getting there. It's important that these things are busted up before they get to my wardens. Because my wardens, if they bust them, and then they're going to pass and get There's nothing to follow up. So we good, good. we got to take care of. Missed on the upgrade. That bothers me. I hate when I do that. Upgrade those two, and we're going to get some more wardens out. Let's do this side here. <laughs> 160. No problem whatsoever. No problem. <laughs> okay, our beginning guys are actually starting to take care of business, too, and that's always good. 
Let's go ahead and do it. Really get this one upgraded, so we're just gonna hold off and upgrade anything else right now. I'm at 18 towers. People know when you play this game, when you get further on and you're into the, whether it's wave 32 or wave 40 at the end, you sell off your farms to be able to place more stuff on them. See, that's a question. Oh my goodness, they spawned at 160. But we got it. We got it. We got it. Alright, our next time around, we should be able to get our accelerator down. Everything up front's doing just fine, no big deal. I'd like to have a little more wardens down, but more importantly, we need um, an accelerator. That's what we're gonna need. So the next warden's gonna go here, and then I'm just gonna line out all these sides, all these different areas with wardens. So he's almost gone. The necromancer will be gone by the time he gets to my warden. Well, let's go ahead and plop another one down here because we got the money. Right. Oh, I do not like when they spawn that stuff. Especially as it gets closer to the end. Alright, we get we will get our accelerator. So see I'm not a huge fan that they put this tower there. Now they don't know my strategy or what I'm trying to do. And that's fine. But I wanted to learn that whole area with just accelerators. But that's alright. We'll be alright. We're doing just fine. I'm at uh, 20 troops right now, or 20 towers. 20 towers down. Eight of those are farms. And we just, we bowled right through that one, right? We're going to up to one. Those. Let's go upgrade two of those. And then we're gonna go back down here to our accelerator. Upgrade it again. Alright, we are doing quite well. You know, I told you I like the wardens. They serve a good purpose. And if I'm gonna have troops down, it's gonna be wardens and accelerators. I put down these cowboys just at the beginning to get them going. Um, I don't expect a whole lot from them. A little bit of money here and there is great, but it really comes down to what these wardens do. I mean, they do money and they, do, and they do it quick. A lot quick. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and upgrade one of these. Hold on, we're gonna upgrade the second one when I have the money to level four. So they give me 750 and 750 a piece. So that's gonna be 15 between those two. See, the real reason I like this area, it's a conversion mm -hmm. point. So you can see that the troops have two mm -hmm. the enemy, I guess we will say, have two tracks that they can take, and this is a conversion point, so no matter what I put here, I can at least hit all uh, troops that are coming in this one conversion point. So we have a slow boss out. He's going to be probably around, I would say, 1200 by the time he gets to my wardens. We'll see what happens. He's going to be right around 1,200 when he gets there. Hopefully we can upgrade my accelerator. Okay, he's at... Yep, yeah, he's right around 1,200. And see how much damage they do along with an accelerator. It's incredible. But you need it. we got to have it because that thing would be able to easily walk through and beat us. Alright, we're going to do a, another accelerator. Put that down. I'm at 24 towers out right now. We're on wave 23, so I'm gonna upgrade a couple more, a couple more times probably before all said and done. 
I need to start working on getting some helicopters out, but we're doing okay right now, so it's not as needed. What's he at? He's at 1,300, 1,312 before he reached my wardens. Let's see how good they do. Oh, it's just flat-out slaughter. <laughs> it is. All right. So let's get this accelerator upgraded where it needs to be at, and now we are going to be focusing on getting some helicopters out. When the time comes. Hidden boss. This hidden boss, I'm not going to lie to you, the hidden boss usually gets through me a couple times. Because um, the accelerator is just a little bit slow on the recycle. And they move quick for the wardens. But we got it that time. But that's something we got to watch out for, is those hidden bosses. Because when they cycle through, they move so quick. Alright, we're going to get our first helicopter out. We're going to put her right in this area here. We're going to go ahead and get it upgraded, so it's doing that damage before they get too far down the road to us. Alright. The next biggest thing is I like to have my accelerators where they're at the 10 grand mark for level 3. Um, and then I like to start upgrading wardens because they bring the heavier stick, right? Pretty simple. Alright, so we should be able to get another helicopter out. And I have a spot I can put it right there. Alright, yeah. There you go. Those speed ones are very dangerous when it comes to this. So I don't have shooters, I got accelerators and wardens. So get another helicopter on this side. There we go. Get upgraded. There we go. And I'm gonna go back to my wardens and get my wardens upgraded. The heavy stick. Very good. All right, we are at wave 27. Getting ready to start 28, I believe. Let's get all these upgraded to level twos like to have more of them, but you can only play so many troops, right? Have them all at the point where I want them. They're all there. Come on. There we go. Alright, let's see how we're doing here. We're gonna have two shadow bosses coming through. That hidden side, uh, that's always risky for me. We got it. Very good. Not worried about that guy. He's... My teammates really working up on them before they even have a chance to get my helicopter, so that's good. Alright, so helicopters need to be upgraded. I'm at 27 towers down. So I have three more to get to my 30 mark. Oh, those wardens, I tell you what. So I'm going to save my final three four accelerators because I really know I'm positive we're going to need them. But my teammate's doing really good placing things up there. And that's where I wanted her to be. Uh, so she figured out what we were trying to do midway through, which is good. She figured it out, and that's always a positive. Where are we at? We're at wave 30. I think this map is a 32 map. Wave 32. So I have all my accelerators that are out, and my helicopters out at um, the 10,000 mark on what's going to take to get them to the 4th and 3rd level, depending on which power it is. Oh, you're just booking right through, that's awesome. Those hiddens aren't getting as far as they normally do with me, so that's good. This guy could be tricky, but we already got him down pretty low. He's not even going to make it to my wardens. That's awesome. Alright, so we have three accelerators down. Here goes our fourth one. The other great thing about placing where I do, you can see the range of an accelerator. So they're covering a huge range. So right at the conversion point, and then almost to the end. And I like that. Alright, we're going to start saving so we can upgrade our stuff. This guy, let's see what he's at. He's at a thousand when he hit. 
gonna get through? Is he gonna get through? No, he's not. All right. We have four of these slow bosses, and only two might make it to me. Well, there's three on that side still to go. Two on to go. I got two to go on that side. This could be a tricky one right here. This could be it. This could be the tough one. A commander would be nice to have, but we don't have one. So we're really going to rely on these accelerators. And I got one in here. That's awesome. Alright, so we got one accelerator at level four. We're saving up to get some more of them here. The problem with that helicopters is it takes a lot to get them maxed out. So it's going to take 10,000, and then I think it's 30,000 after that. Good thing that happens. We're gonna go ahead and get one of our helicopters ready. Actually, no. I want another accelerator ready. We got some stuff getting ready to come up. Three of those guys in a row. That's gonna be tough. Three in a row. They're gonna get through. Oh my goodness. And we got him. Oh my goodness. We got lucky. We got lucky. I got one more thing I can place. I think I'll place another accelerator because we're gonna need it for the final wave. So we'll go ahead and get that placed before I start upgrading the rest of my stuff. We got 32, so we're going to wave 33. All right, so it looks like there's 40 waves. So technically I could upgrade some of my stuff a little bit more as far as the farms go to get me more money, but I'm not as worried about it. So we're doing pretty good as far as money goes. We're getting where we need to be at. So now I'm just going to upgrade troops that I have down. That's what the goal is. See what we got going on. See if anything gets through. Really, we talk about lucky. Talk about lucky. This is the conversion at the right time. That's a lot of stuff going through here. This is going to be tough. That's a lot of things going through. They're, doing it. They're handling the business. Sweet. They did good. They did good. I tell you what, when it gets down to that final map, it's going to be a tough one. The final wave. These guys are doing good. These wardens, I really like them. They're well worth it. Uh, I got those by beating Pizza Party. And I'm in the process of trying to help my two sons, Owen and Jason, which is Fallgate Owen and Fallgate Jason, uh, beat Pizza Party. It's just it's tough. It's, I, I think it's a lot of luck. It's, it's, there's a little bit of strategy, the right teammates and stuff like that. And we haven't beat it yet, but we're going to keep it all posted and, and post the videos as we go. This conversion point, I'm telling you, it's perfect. We got some things that are really hitting there with a lot of energy. A lot of life left. That's always risky. Look at all that stuff. My goodness. We're just going to keep upgrading our warnings. Um, we're going to see probably one of the more crucial things here. And we're getting them all the same. So I've got two, three more to level at five grand. So I need 15 grand to level all three of those. And then I'll worry about my accelerators. Dude. By the time we get to the wave 40, I should have all my accelerators at where they need to be at. Oh, they skipped. That's cocky. Little cop skipping that early. I'm not, a, I'm not a huge skipper when it comes into these later rounds. But she's pretty confident in what we're doing. It's Game of Girl PYP. Alright. What is she fighting? Let's just see what her build out is. She's got. The Freeze, Hunter, Scout. So Freeze, Hunter, and Scout, and then she has the Snipers back here. So it's a very 
beginner type build out. And that's you can see that it really doesn't matter because she's playing well with me and with my build outs we're able to get it done. She's got a good strategy that she's staying with now that she knows what mine is. We've got I'm guessing is an internet failure. Oh, we gotta reconnect. Oh my goodness. I hope I hope my troops held up on that. Come on, reconnect. It's something with Roblox. Depending on the time of day, I get that quite often. Yes, we want to read Let's hope that my troops are held out. Probably panicking that I dropped out. Alright, we're back in wave 37. Alright, so we can have wave 2 of these guys. It looks like my troops did hold out, so that's good. One more to get it to level four. And then I have helicopters are next to try to get up there. So I'm gonna do my accelerators first. But we're holding off. We're level 37 and nothing's really getting to me. That's good. Yeah, those will be gone. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Helicopter. Ten, ten, ten. So it's time to upgrade these guys. Look at the front here. Let's zoom in here. Let's look at all this chaos. Wave 38. 38. He's doing that with something that's awesome. Alright, now let's start making right, let's start make it back to my conversion field. Perfect, look at that. That's what I'm coming at it both ways, so that's, that's where you get into the we got the mastery boss right there. Mystery boss. Is that a win, Dad? Yeah, we're gonna win. We're gonna wave the boat. We haven't made it past this boat. Your team is. Scout. She's got a scout hunter freeze. So she's like, Brian, Brian. <laughs> yeah. That's right. We're getting our big win because I believe this map is insane. I think so. Well, they, they have the where they split off, so I, that's why I think it's insane. Oh yeah. yeah. I think it's insane. Is it easy insane? As long as you know how to play, which is conversion. I mean, normal right here. No, I actually did. We got fallen. See. Or uh, molten. She vo I, she voted molten. I voted fallen. I heard by some dude that there was a while ago that molten was actually easier than fall is than normal. I don't know how much I trust him, but... I think that it really depends on the truth that you have or... Really. I've seen a max level. Max level wardens, they have riot shields. They're cool. And they do 80 damage? Mm-hmm, they're awesome. Oh. They're awesome. That's what I'm telling you. If we can get pizza party beat for you, then wardens are awesome. Yeah. And they only cost 500? Yes. 13,500 at max, so... What's that 551 you have? Sorry. That's a cowboy. Oh, okay. Doesn't look like a cowboy. Yeah, that's a cowboy. It's growling at you. Bingo! Day 40, this is what we're waiting for. And it should be. Start right. selling off all your farms at this point. Cold? You have to go, you just press that in the back. Huh? I click on it and press X and then we do Alright, so do I do more accelerators, more wardens, or more helicopters? You just get rich. Oh, your teammate left. She probably got kicked. Because that's a bad time to leave. Because we're going to win this. I, I, I think I'm going to just go max out, get all my accelerators out. Just in case. Not 
You guys press E. I don't know. Alright, right, let's see what happens. We know these guys aren't gonna make it through. It's just the big molten balls. I got six point three that I can play. So I don't know what I'm have. Oh, this is over. Okay, so they're gonna be. Let's keep track of this because I want you guys to see how much the combination of these wardens and accelerators do. So he's at. Oh, they just spawned these new ones. Okay, so fifty six thousand when he, he hits the wardens. Let's see what happens. Says help the police. That's what's happening. Nothing yeah. Fifty thousand. Okay, we're getting through here. She's just training him. Forty thousand. I think it's gonna be close. I think it's gonna be close. Oh crap. I'm not gonna win. No, I'm not. Surprise about that. That's aggravating. Wow. That's aggravating. We got him down to 19. Hey, thanks for watching Fallgate Teams. This is Fallgate Top Dad. I appreciate it. We're going to post it whether we win or lose. It's unfortunate that I lost. I did not anticipate that, so I was a little slow on selling my wardens off. And I should have sold my troops off up front, but I was a little cocky on that. And that's what happens. You get a little cocky and you get bit in the butt. Y'all have a good one and catch you on the next video.